Whenever we're solving a right triangle, we are usually given two sides of the triangle and then we need to find the third side. It could be the hypotenuse, the opposite side, or the adjacent side. But in this case, we're going to be given by um, just one side of the right triangle and we're supposed to find either the uh, hypotenuse or adjacent or just the adjacent side. So let's have this first problem. We need to find the missing side of this triangle and in this triangle we're only given one side and that side is the opposite side which is seven units and we are asked to find the value of the hypotenuse which is here let's call it x since that's what, we're ne that's what we need to find. Now the first step just like what we did in examples of uh, triangles using Sokotoa is to label your triangle. And in our triangle, we are given the opposite side and we are missing the hypotenuse. And in the six trig ratio, or uh, the triangle ratio formula, we have so, ka, toa. And among the three formula that we have here, the one that has opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So in problem like this, you can't just use the formula right away. You need to think for a second which formula you need to use to find the missing side of the triangle. So there's a little bit of thinking involved before you can use the formula and not just use formula right away. So here we're using sine because I have opposite, which is 7, and I have hypotenuse, which is missing. So to solve for this triangle, for this side, we have sine 30 degrees, and 30 degrees is also given equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And we know that opposite is 7, and the hypotenuse is x. Now, if we're working on sine 30 degrees equal to 7 over x, finding x will be a little bit difficult if sine 30 degrees is not a real number. So we'll, we'll change it by using our unit circle, and we know that sine 30 degrees is one half in the unit circle, so we will replace sine 30 degrees with one half. And now we have one half equal to seven over x as our equation. By ratio and proportion, we can cross multiply x here and two here, therefore we have x equals seven times two, and x is equal to 14 because seven times two is 14. Therefore, this missing side, which is your hypotenuse, is equal to 14. And that's how we solve a triangle with two missing sides. However, in this problem, we're only asked to find one side. Now, what if we need to find both sides? Here's an example wherein we need to complete the three sides of the triangle given only one side. This is the given triangle, and in this given triangle, we're working with a 60 degrees right here as your reference angle, and the base of your triangle is measured 12 centimeters. And we know that the base is your adjacent side, therefore, the opposite side and the hypotenuse sides are missing. Now, if we're going to use so ka toa, we can either use um, cosine or tangent to solve for either x or y. So whichever you want to use first is going to give you the right answer. But I chose to use tangent instead of cosine because I just want to use, solve for x first before y. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve, I decided to solve for x, therefore I'm using tangent. So opposite over adjacent is x over 12 centimeter. So the given angle is 60 degrees, so tangent 60 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. My opposite side is missing, which is x, and my adjacent side is 12. So tangent 60 degrees is equal to x over 12, and we know that tangent 60 degrees in our unit circle is square root of 3. So I'm using square root of 3 as the value of tangent 60 degrees, which is equal to x over 12, and sol solving for x, cross multiply, and you'll have 12 squared of 3 equal to x. Now, I know now that my opposite side is measured 12 squared of 3 centimeters. Now, my only problem is to solve for the hypotenuse, which is y. And to find y, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, once again, you can still use this formula if you decide to use cosine equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. You will still get um, y equals 24. But I'm showing you how to um, use the Pythagorean instead to find the missing or the last missing side, which is your hypotenuse. So given the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse squared is equal to leg squared plus leg squared. 
y squared is equal to 12 squared plus 12 squared of 3 squared, which is x. And solving for y, y squared is equal to 576. Take the square root of both sides, and you'll have y equal to 24. So the missing sides of the triangle that we're solving is x equal to 12 squared of 3, which is your opposite side, and y equals 24 centimeters, which is your hypotenuse. On the third example, we're not solving for a missing um, side of the right triangle. What we're finding is the value of tangent 780 degrees. Now, if you'll no notice, 780 degrees is not in the unit circle because one full revolution in a unit circle is equal to 360 degrees. So how are you going to find 780 degrees if it's not in the unit circle? So we're going to find its coterminal angle that is less than 360 degrees so we can use the unit circle. And to do that, all you have to do is to subtract 360 degrees to 780 degrees and subtract 360 as many times as you could until you have a value that is less than um, 360 but not less than uh, um, 0 degrees. So it should be between 0 and 360 degrees. So let's subtract 360 to 780 degrees. The first subtraction will give us 420 degrees. And subtract 360 again because 420 degrees is not in your unit circle. So we still need to subtract 360 from 420 to reach 60 degrees. And now we all know that 60 degrees is in our unit circle. And it's in between 0 degrees and 360. So we can find the value of tangent 780 using its coterminal angle, which is 60 degrees. Now, 60 degrees has a coordinate of 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. And in the unit circle, we know that 1 half is cosine, and square root of 3 over 2 is your sine. Now, tangent 60 degrees in our formula is y over x, or sine over cosine. So plugging in the value of your ordered pairs, so you have sine, which is square root of 3 over 2, and cosine, which is 1 half. Simplifying the complex fraction, you'll have square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2 over 1, giving you square root of 3 as your tangent. So therefore, the value of tangent 780 degrees is square root of 3 with the help, of course, of its coterminal angle in our unit circle.